Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the glory and praise, which is the larger book, number 379. 379, O sons and daughters. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O sons and daughters, let us sing the King of heaven, the glorious King. O'er death today rose triumphing. Alleluia. That Easter morn at break of day, the faithful women went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Alleluia. An angel clad in white they see, who sat and spoke unto the three, your Lord has gone to Galilee. Alleluia. That night the apostles met in fear, amid them came their Lord most dear, he said, My peace be on all here. Alleluia. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, as we continue the Easter season, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Arnold Hendricks and Richard Wittard. For the times we failed to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for God's mercy, for he is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You bring light to those who are in darkness, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned they held in common. With great power the Apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and the great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them, and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, the Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed, he is girded with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. He established the world, it shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old, you are from everlasting. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are very sure. Your holiness benefits your house, O Lord, forevermore. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Son of Man must be lifted up so that all who believe in him may have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Do not be astonished that I said to you, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen, yet you do not receive our testimony. If we have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. We continue to hear of the encounters of the apostles in the early church and the choosing of Barnabas. We see that the apostles chose among the people leaders to assist them in proclaiming God's word. To this very day, men and women are chosen from among the people of God to lead the people of God as priests, deacons, women religious, male religious, to remind us that the Holy Spirit continue to work in our midst, in this diocese and in every corner of the world. And so, in gratitude to God for the gift of especially religious vocations, we continue in this Easter season. We also see that in the gospel, Jesus is disclaiming to Nicodemus and the people of his time things that don't make sense to them. He tries to unpack the mystery of eternal life in small bits and pieces that they can understand. And yet, because of a hardness of heart, they fail to listen, they fail to want to understand. May that not be our response as we recognize Jesus predicted that the Son of Man would be lifted up on the cross. The cross is the sign of our salvation, and we are reminded that Jesus knew exactly what was going to happen. The more we listen to God, the more we open ourselves to his will, as Mary did in yesterday's solemnity, the Feast of the Annunciation, then we too will focus on what is truly important in our life, fulfilling the will of God. With confidence in the Father of mercies, we bring to him our petition. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, deacons, and women religious, that Jesus may continue to conform us evermore to his heart as we minister to the faithful of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations, may the witness of committed Christians Foster an increased respect for all human life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who suffer from mental or physical illness. May the Holy Spirit outpour his healing and consolation upon them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us gathered here, may the graces and merits of partaking in the Eucharist draw us deeper in union with the Lord Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Arnold and Richard, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they feast with the angels and saints in the presence of God forever, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Good and gracious Father, we know that you hear our prayers. Please grant them according to your most holy will. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the hulls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jira, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Arnold and Richard, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one of the ministers of Russian. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, in the hope of the resurrection, they all have died in your mercy. Welcome them with the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil, Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. When Thomas first the tidings heard, how they had seen the risen Lord, he doubted the disciples' word. Alleluia. My wounded side, O Thomas, see. Behold my hands, my feet, said he. Not faithless, but believing be. Alleluia. No longer than Thomas then denied. He saw the feet, the hands, the side. You are my Lord and God, he cried. Alleluia. How blessed are they who have not seen and yet whose faith has constant been, for the eternal life shall win. Alleluia. On this most holy day of days, to God your hearts and voices raise, in laud and jubilee and praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God bless you. Have a good day.